So hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are inside a tiny antique store. Well, it's not very tiny. It's pretty large. Antique store in a small North Texas town. And we're looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. You, mainly on YouTube live sales. Those live sales, if I have them, are usually Saturdays at 8.30 or 9 Eastern Standard Time. If I'm in Texas, that's 8.30 or 9 Central Standard Time. So we're out here just prowling around, looking for things. So make sure you do a thumbs up for this video. Look at my other videos of purses and jewelry that I thrift. And we're gonna look around the store for goodies and treasures, antique and vintage and all sorts of things. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And hit that notification bell and click all so you make sure that you are notified of my video uploads as well as my um, thrifting adventures. Look at this cute little skirt here. Only five dollars. It's a small Texas town and probably a, maybe some few goodies to be found in here. So I always look for all kinds of things. Sometimes home decor for the Airbnb. No telling what we're gonna find. I love this sign right here. I don't know what that's for, but I love the artwork on it so much. You can make that into a tiny table. Then you got that weather vane horse right there. If you could hang that up on the wall, that's cute. It's probably made of lead. Probably made of lead, oh my gosh, hold on. What does this one say, Form formalities? It's a pretty shoe. If the food wall was not already filled at the Airbnb, I would definitely try to find a place for that beautiful picture. You know we love bread. Isn't that the truth? Cats have staff I'm feeding two every night, like clockwork. Lots of old lamps, old china. You know, I love the salt and pepper shakers. Look at this one. Mix and match. Just mix and match them. This right here is looking like it. I might be, it is sterling. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's a wine sipper. If y'all know, comment below, but I think that's a wine sipper. Handcrafted spurs. Everybody needs those. And then look at this cameo necklace or bracelet right here. It is. Probably brass, maybe. Mm -hmm. Wonder what the stone is. Any idea? 
It's like a maroon. Sure, if that's a trinket tray or a little yeah. wine sipper. Okay, if a little metal trinket box. So I saw a cross in there. I didn't ask how much it is. Another trinket box. I like that white metal trinket box. It's really nice. Look at this. Oh, I can't imagine that interior decorators don't have tons of fun shopping for it and then placing it. What in the world is this? Oh, that's a little bell. A brass enamel bell. They're calling it an elephant bell, but I don't see an elephant on it, so I'm not sure what that means, but I'll take their word for it, for sure. Add these little miniature plates to your collection of miniatures. Y'all know I love my glassware. Look at these little wine glasses. I assume they're wine glasses. Purple, probably crystal, and etched. How cute is that? For the owl lovers on my channel, probably made in Mexico. Across the miles, look at that. So I didn't know if this was a purse or a makeup case, but look at this, y'all. I'm going to show you this in a second. I think it's Lucite. Let's see if it says anywhere there about Lucite. It has a powder blusher in here, liquid makeup. I think you probably could use it as like a purse. But it's definitely a vintage makeup carrier, and I know a lot of y'all building your vanity sets. We sell lots of perfume bottles on here. show you the top of it so maybe acrylic I don't know if it's loose out they have it marked as loose up but a very cool piece right here I don't know if we'll get that or not I have a feeling that that might be real hair there on top maybe not sure but look at that dirty look she's given her look at all these miniature doll little angels on comb lipstick case probably vintage definitely does not look new Grape dollies, look at those. If you love Avon bottles, they have a lot of unique ones here. They're not really run of the mill. They seem a little bit different. How did y'all like that um, Eclipse? Look at this. That is so super cute. So Avon bottles don't sell super well for me. But I think when they're cute like this, they probably will. So this one's full. I like it of the artwork of it so freaking nice love that what else we got here oh they're 25% off and then look at this Avon school days comb you know Avon really gives others a run for their money because they've got such creative bottles Jovan Musk powder box, super nice. Oh, 
はあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあもう一つのドリスを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、私は何を買うかを買うと、Gorgeous. These are very nice. Probably don't find those a lot anymore. I、oh, know I love the salt and pepper shakers. I always do. And love the miniature cameo pictures, too. Look at this one. That's pretty nice, y'all. Look at that. Dr. Dubell, supplies with supply. There's a guard.、Hmm. See, I thought this might have been a perfume bottle. Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. That is not a perfume bottle. Vintage artwork boxes, containers. Oh, well, three set three dollars each. What would you do with those if you bought those? Tell me in the comments. Then you have all these vintage cards. It's amazing to me that people find these out in the wild and able to bring them in. I am riding by an open window. Believe it or not, if you grew up in the country, these things are really accurate. I don't know how they are, but they are. I used to use them when I was little, and they still make them. Look at this perfume ball. Here's a 
hair collector. And look at this perfume bottle right there. I may have to check on the price of that one. Beautiful trinket box right there. And then this right here says Magic Mirror. I've never seen that before, so not certain what that is. Not certain what that is. Paperweights are always popular, I think. And a vintage perfume bottle right there. And then another little collector's trinket box in the back. And look at this cute perfume bottle right here. It's got Cupid on it. I think, we'll have to, I think we need to get that one. Let's see if you can see it a little better. Here's a cute Hummel trinket box. Very nice. And that would be me right there driving around all the time, hitting all these different stores to find goodies for y'all. Elmer Fudd. I have a wall called the Gents Wall, and I think I'm going to hang that on it. This is a really cool piece. Hang your keys on it, but I'll just hang it for decor. Could have used these last night. We had a big storm out here. The lights went off. Used to. My parents would use those oil lamps. And we would get old school light from those. These cute little chickens, salt and pepper shakers. Oh, and I found a local place that has honey, and hopefully they'll get some in. I think I'm gonna do like honey straws at the coffee bar. Honey, ooh, perfume bottles, ladies, perfume bottles, and look at these hands. What would you do with those? Would you put a succulent in those, or just, well, how, how would you use those? Those are really pretty. Perfume bottle from Japan. This right here is a vintage butterfly sachet. I don't know if that's just acrylic or lucite or what that is. Y'all tell me in the comments below. So you put something good smelling in there and hang that on your wall. Avon perfume bottle. Looks like a cranberry color. And if you've ever heard of this brand of low comment, or here, comment below. Beautiful lady hand cream. Avon perfume bottle, I like it, but we're gonna pass on it. I'm looking at these others, see what we've got here. Vintage crystal, uh, vintage spray bottle. I like this for the color of it. So it's a blue, you can't really tell there in gold tone. I think we're gonna get that one. I love that one, that's very nice. Antique perfume bottle, you can see the cuts right there. This is a sterling top. I don't know if I'll get that one or not, but it is nice. Vintage skin lotion bottle, we may pack that one up. I like that, I think that would be a great display on a vanity table. I mean, they've got a little stuff in them, but who cares, right? So I think we'll pack that one up too, and let's see what this last one is. So this is a vintage Seabright eyeglass cleaner. I still like the um, advertising label. I like the bottle, so I think we're going to get it for that reason. Definitely does not go in with anything with perfume, but it's a collectible. This right here is called Vintage Red Hollywood Rouge. Y'all, look at this. This one right here would go nice. on a display so we're going to get that also we'll bring that to a future sale i don't know how much this is but i love it so this is a powder box made of probably cardboard oh look at that it says cody right there we're going to check that out and see how much that one is because i don't know but i like that a lot still has the powder pad if that's what you call it inside and it smells good i love it man we're just scoring today so this is another glass powder vintage powder box look at the top on this one I love that, so we are gonna get that one for sure. Here's the inside of it. Let's go back over here and see if we missed any perfume bottles. This is such a beautiful setup. Look at that bench right there, if I didn't already have one. That one's made out of a coffee table, marble top coffee table, and a old vintage bed headboard. So let's see, we were looking all in here, finding great stuff in this booth. Perfume bottles, trinket boxes. What is this little itty bitty tiny thing? Vintage tie rack, y'all, look at this. That is nice. And of course you always have your old photos. 
If you want to dress a place up, in my humble opinion, I think if you get the old photos, you'll do just that. That one looks like it's vintage, not antique. Six dollars. What are these called right here, y'all? The metal things that you put your hot plates on. Of course, we don't use those now, but it does look like, and he did say that, I promise. Your husband said, buy what you want. Don't hold back. Life's too short. And unpredictable flower frogs. What do y'all do with those? Let me know in the comments below. I guess you could put screwdrivers in them. Hat pins, things like that. What is this here? This right here is a tiny tin pocket flask. Love it. Wouldn't you love to have a garden that looks like this with lots of pillows and things? So I came in here a few days ago, didn't find, didn't even pay attention. Oh, look at that. When you're over the hill, you start to pick up speed. I would call that pack up, wouldn't you? Look at all those little cute chickens. But I do. I see that, and I love it, and I'm like, where could I put that? I could probably put that in one of the chairs in the Airbnb. I have a honeybee uh, pillow, but that one definitely goes with the channel. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Should I pack that up and put it in the Airbnb? Look at this picture here. People get real creative. I like that one, but I really like this one. So yeah, I obviously did not pay a lot of attention the other day in here. And I would have missed out on a lot of things. And y'all know I have a vintage napkin holder at the Airbnb. And look at this one right here. Hey, if you're going to decorate, you might as well get the old stuff. Get the old stuff. Don't get the new And they are going to have lots of jewelry. Just so you know, we're not going to look at all. But it gives you an idea. So lots of beautiful jewelry. Love those little guys right there. Look at this ring. Talk about blinged out. Lots of old quilts. What is this thing here? recipe box anymore oops there I was again sorry about that oh my gosh is this a Whiting and Davis About to say that might be a sterling handle, but it looks a little brat like brass. Still beautiful though. We're at nearly 25,000 subscribers, y'all. I'm trying to think of what to do when we hit that 25,000 mark. It'd probably be in Texas, but I'm thinking, trying to think of what we can do to celebrate.
So I think that's it, y'all. We're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching again. Thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing, hitting that notification bell. Click all. Make sure that bell turns white, dark white. That means you'll be notified of everything. Look at this old Remington portable. This is so super cute. And we'll see you on the next live sale. Bye.